Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how we can use this MATLAB's fmincon to find the minimum of a function. For that, I'm starting off with a simple example and here onwards, then we will continue with this to much more complicated examples. Okay, so this is a simple one variable minimization. So you can see the function I've used is y equals x squared plus 3x minus 2 and it's a simple quadratic equation and you can see the minimum of this happens at x equals minus 1.5 and the value corresponding to that is minus 4.25. Let's see how we can use MATLAB to find the same value so in using fmincon. If you see the MATLAB's documentation for fmincon, it gives you an introduction to like uh, what it's doing, trying to do it. So you can see that what fmincon is doing is it's minimizing the function fx and it outputs you the x values which correspond to this uh, fx value or the y value under some constraints. Okay, so you can see the first constraint is cx that is here you define your inequality constraints so that's in, in usually in matlab's minimization c is to use to denote these inequality constraints and the second one you can see is ceq that is the same constraints but now they are equal to constraints for example if uh, you want to have some constraint on x uh, it can be if x is less than 2 so it comes under this category or if uh, if you want to, uh, for example, set uh, some equality constraints, it can be also be done something similar. And then there are also some other variables, this A, B, AEQ, VEQ, LB and UB. So we will talk them later in our video series. But for now, we will ignore these ones too because we want to start simple. Okay, so let's see. So if you can see here, you can see this is the syntax where you can use fmincon. So first you use the fmincon and then you input the function that you want to minimize. So in our case, it would be x squared plus 3x minus 2 as I showed you earlier. And then x naught, x naught is some initial guess. Okay, we start from somewhere and then we try to find the minimum from there onwards. And then a, b, these are the values that we need to input, which are similar to here. So using all the, the all these values, this is the function you should be using for that. I will explain how this works, but for now, just know that you need to first input the function, then some initial guess, then A, B, A, E, Q, B, E, Q, L, B, U, B, and these all correspond to some, some, someone's here. And then you have this uh, none L, L, non lcon this is used to denote non-linear constraints which we will ignore for now and there is the option options which i will also explain later so for now suppose we have some we will use this equation to find the minimum of this uh, function okay so for this you need to in matlab define three functions actually we need two but to run this uh, minimization, we need another function. It would be easy in the upcoming videos. Okay, so there is this main, and it's not actually function, it's the main script. And then we feed in here, the, in the cost function, we define what, the, what our function is. And the, in the constraints, this is where we define, if you remember, the C and the CEQ constraints and the nonlinear con or everything if you want to do it this is where you're going to do so we will start off with the cost function so you can see here i've defined some function f which is the output of the function and the name of the function is cost function and here we input x as the input variable and depending on these input x variables since this is uh, 1d minimization that that is since we only have one variable the function value would be x squared plus 3x minus 2 and then we end it here okay this is simple defining the function and if you open the constraints since here i'm not using any constraints i will use something like this 
in here I define an, another function constraints with in, input variable x and here the outputs are the c and the c eq values and I've defined them here to be some uh, no value so that's why I define like this and okay and then finally in this in this main file this is where we do the uh, minimization so you can see uh, in in here I'm using this fmincon function and then if you remember at the first first of the one first of the input variable for this fmincon should be the function so in there you should know one thing we should use this notation here onwards this is this is telling to MATLAB okay this cos function this by at x sign we tell it okay this will be a function of x and also we input uh, the variable x okay and here the initial guess okay in the initial guess I'm using let I'm supposing that x equals 2 and trying to see if MATLAB can find the solution and then these ones if you remember from the help of MATLAB in the documentation of MATLAB this, this corresponds to this A, B, L, uh, C, C, to those ones so here this I am defining them to be uh, empty so I am not considering it and similarly if you can see here I am using this constraints x similar to which we have, I define the cost function and in here we will not our constraints okay and then if mean con will output these values you can see on the left here the minimum weights this is the minimum y value oh sorry minimum uh, x value which is the output of the function if you remember this should output minus 1.5 for our given function and this fl it corresponds to what's the minimum y, uh, minimum y value and it would be minus 4.25 and this exit flag which i've used it's something we can see uh, we can use to see if the minimization yielded a good value or a bad value uh, that's enough for now and then you don't also need to consider about this output okay so let's see if we run this what the result is okay so let's run this one and you say okay MATLAB says okay I found the minimum which satisfies the constraints in this case there are no constraints but just we, we, we should know that and but if you see on the left you can see that the minimum weights okay it corresponds to minus 1.5 which is our minimum x value and you see f well which is the minimum one y value it's minus 4.25 okay and then this exit flag it's one and that's actually good because in this MATLAB fmincon we need to get uh, some kind of exit flag which is usually positive either one or two so one means okay I found the minimum okay and then you do not you don't need to consider about this output but anyway this is the first video so here you can see how we you can use MATLAB to uh, do 1d minimization and the next point would be doing the same but for 2d uh, or like two variable minimization and then uh, we will see how we can use it to much more complicated examples lots so let's see you in the next video